friends, I'm um, here from Altadena Library with Beatrix. Hello. And today we're going to show you how to make your own Mod Podge so that you can do some decoupage. So Mod Podge is actually a brand, but we're going to make a solution that works really well for a decoupage. So, ooh, flying glue. So we're going to take some glue and we're going to, I'm going to take the whole top off. We're gonna pour some of it into a container, probably a container that you don't need anymore, um, something that you either throw away or a glass thing that you can keep it in. So we're using this little glass jar. So we have this much glue, you can do more, you can do less, however you want. What you wanna add to this glue is about half, a third to half of the same amount in water. So we have this much, we wanna add about that much water. So, you could be really smart and measure this. I'm not going to do that. We're just gonna eyeball it. So let's see. That looks about right. I'm gonna put a little more glue in to be sure. Okay. So you've got your glue, you've got your water. You're gonna take your brush. So you can use a foam brush, you can use a paint brush, whatever you have available. And you're gonna mix, mix, mix it, mix it really well. You want all of that water to incorporate with your glue. So what we're doing, it's called mod, or it's called decoupage. So what decoupage is, is basically gluing together small cutout pieces of paper and putting them on something larger. Um, so like making sort of a collage, same sort of idea. Um, so we don't have our summer reading boxes right now, so we're just using pieces of cardboard. But if you have your summer reading box, this is a really good way to decorate it and make it really special so that you can use it again. So what we did, what you can do as well is um, you can use colored pieces of paper, you can use pictures from magazines, um, pictures from toy packages. I got. This little guy I cut out from a Mother's Day card. Um, and then we just cut out some shapes from some painted paper that we made. Um, if you did our, our um, leaf printing activity, you can even use your leaf prints, cut out your leaf prints. So I have all of these random shapes. Beatrix has some cool stuff from some of her toys that she's cutting out and working on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our Mod Podge and we're gonna glue it on. So Beatrix is planning out what she's gonna do. I'm not planning, I'm just going for it. So I've got my Mod Podge. Foam brushes work really well, but you can use any brush you want. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put some glue on the back side of it and press it down firmly. All right, so I glued it down firmly. Now I'm gonna take our solution and we're gonna go over it. And this is watercolor, so I don't wanna go over it too much because that's gonna spread the water, the color. But we just went over it like that. Okay. So now we're gonna take some more shapes and we're gonna put them together into a cool, a cool activity or a cool picture. Not a cool activity. It is a cool activity, but we're making a cool picture out of it. All right, how you doing? You've got little pieces, I like it. I like the little pieces. And this might make your hands a little sticky. That's all right. Sticky hands are good. You just wanna wash them off when you're done. And you probably wanna work on um, a table or somewhere that you can wash off as well. So the cool thing about decoupage is you can put as much or as little as you want. So if I wanted to stop here and be done, I could be done. It sort of looks like some shapes on a seesaw. <laughs> Maybe that's the aesthetic I'm going for. Um, I'm gonna actually add a couple more things. So I'll show you in a second. 
all the cool things. Adding my leaf print. What you could do is you can use your markers and you can draw a paint a picture and then put it on with decoupage. Um, you could do your watercolors, you can use magazines, um, photographs, anything that you find around your house that you are able to cut up and glue onto something else. If you do use washable markers or watercolor or something, just remember that those are gonna spread when they get too much moisture. So you wanna be really quick when you do the, um, when you cover the, the top of them. All right. So I've got everything down the way I want it to be. Um, and I'm gonna let this dry because I don't want uh, to spread my colors way too much more. But then once it's dry, I'm gonna do another coat of my solution. So while it's drying, I'll probably put um, a cover or something on my solution. So I'll do another coat so it has a nice coat on top of it. You can even do more coats after that, just make sure they dry in between. Um, if it's something you really want to last a long time, you might get some sort of like varnish or something. But just like this will be awesome way to preserve your memories and make your summer reading kit into a cool box. So let's see. All right, it, Beatrix is still working. So we will take a picture when she's done and we'll put it up either after this video or it will be on the thumbnail for this video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Bye.